Hey guys, it's your old pal John. A while ago we did uh, Now and Then with uh, the Beatles. You guys really liked it and I, I liked it too. Um, and I would love to do some more of this stuff. But um, I decided I wanted to go through all the anthology songs. So that's Free as a Bird, Now and Then, and of course, uh, I believe this one's Real Love, right? Yeah, Real Love. I think this is the one that charted uh, quite well and was the one the last Beatles hits. Um, I do... I would love to see, while Paul is still with us, uh, and Ringo, I would love to see them uh, take this and go a little further with uh, taking John's voice and doing some work with it, uh, just like they did with Now and Then. But I haven't heard these since, like, the 1990s when it came out, and I was a huge Beatles fan then. So let's get into it. to say right off the bat um i this is a very john lennon song and i don't think it's a very if i recall correctly i don't think it's a very beatles song but the beatles had help in finishing it of course i think this was the most complete if i remember correctly but uh again correct me if i'm wrong um i'm human but uh i do like show, them showing the meetup i know that george and paul never really they were great friends you know early on and towards the end it they had their own issues, but um, nonetheless, it's sad that George has passed. Uh, but it's good to see the three of them together. Love that they're using the old Beatles footage in these. Um, yeah, it's 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 fabulous. I love seeing uh, John. I love seeing George again. Of course, George died a few years later. Um, but what a great! I don't want to say wall of sound because that is something else. But it, and it could have a different meaning. But they did a great job of having. Um, and they maybe overproduced this, but it's a good overproduction. It gives it a little more power, I think. So out of all the three, uh, Now and Then, Free as a Bird, I think Real Love is actually the one that's the most complete and sounds the most complete.
I wanted to just say, uh, here's something that popped into my head, and I really think this is important. These are some of the final images that we have of George. George was very uh, quiet. They call him the Quiet Beetle. But, I mean, in terms of the public life, he wasn't that public about things. He wasn't necessarily quiet. He was just not public about things. So there's not a lot of 90s, other than the Traveling Wilburys, you know, when he was part of that group. That was an awesome super group, and I think we should do something like that. If you think so, let's put it down below, and we'll talk about some of the songs of, of the Traveling Wilburys, because I think we could get into some great stuff. But uh, let me know if that's the case. But it is great to see some wonderful images of George. Uh, obviously started the original man bun, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> but it, it, it just hit me listening to this song that... You know, after this, I see pictures, you know, you hear about his break in at his house at uh, Friar Park. And, uh, you know, that, you know, when he got stabbed and that happened. And then, uh, you know, the brain cancer and, uh, you know, and the, it, was, it was horrible uh, that it had to be that, you know, that it happened. But at the same point, they're video, they're, they're encapsulating this whole thing that's going on. And I, when did he die? 2000, 2001? I know Linda died in 1997 or 98, and then and then George after that. But still, I mean, this is 1990s. This is probably the most um, the most we got from George in a long time, and the most we'll ever get from him um, since before since he passes. I'm sorry, since he's about to pass. <laughs> Oh man, that is great. Again, I, I, I don't know if I mentioned it, but uh, I haven't seen this since the 1990s when it came out. Um, fabulous job, fabulous job. Really, I think, um, uh, I know Paul's in there and Jeff Lynn, but it's a, it's a, it's a more of a George John song. I, I feel more of George in this particular one as opposed to Free as a Bird. Um, and, uh, I think it's pretty cool. Um, so I don't know. I, I think that's. I think it's a great. I think it's actually a really great tune. Um, I don't know that they could do that much more to it with uh, AI or even pro, not Pro Tools wouldn't really help, but uh, AI I guess. But um, it's nice to see those images if you get a chance. I mean, you know, pick up the. Uh, you c you can pick up like uh, the collection of the. Uh, um, uh, there's like a compilation, a video compilation of their uh, uh, the last three Beatles when they were still alive, um, and uh, and check the whole thing out. But uh, let me know what you guys think about your conclusions on the song. It's been so long since I've heard this song, I forgot that it was actually really good. It's all it, to me. It's up there with now and then. Although I have to start listening to more of these two. I don't really. I'm not a huge fan of Free as a Bird, only because I actually think that. I actually think that that one could be um, edited a little bit more with some of the AI and the separation of John's voice and making it clearer. But um, anyway, that's my take. I'm not an analyst. Um, that's my wife's job. Uh, so anyway, let me know what you guys think down below. And if you want to hear more about this, maybe, maybe we can do some other ones. Um, I don't want to do too much on the Beatles, I guess, but maybe some Traveling Wilburys if you'd want. But I can, I can sort of Sergeant Pepper that around. <laughs> oh, cheesy dad joke. Bye.